and Artie Cosby will be kicking off to one of those three players, either Doug Allen, 46, 35, Kerry Good, or 26, Bobby Humphrey. Bobby Humphrey's the man they want to get it. Either one of the other players can do a pretty good job with it, though. But Bobby Humphrey, the leading all-purpose runner in the Southeastern Conference. And here's Artie Cosby, has a pretty strong leg. Ray Perkins looks on at his Crimson Tide following the loss last week to Penn State. It is Humphrey to the 23. Make it Doug Allen, and he goes down at the 23-yard line after getting it back only 16 yards. It was a short high kickoff, and let's look at the offense on second down. Shula to Humphrey again. Humphrey close to the first down marker out across the 30 to 31. 18 Brian Hudson with the tackle. And that's what Alabama's going to want to do today. And that's run that ball up the middle. Humphrey. He gets the first down and a little bit more to the 35 is where they'll stop his forward progress. Seven Kirby Jackson and 27 Asa Bennett with the tackle. But the first down for Alabama. Second down five of the 40. Humphrey in motion. Hand off to Allen again. Big gaping hole. Inside Mississippi State Territory to about the 47. Hudson making the tackle again. First down 10. They've spotted the ball at the 47. And here comes Allen again. Same kind of hole. Almost as much success. Hudson with his third tackle from strong safety for Mississippi State. 41 yards rushing for Alabama. They have yet to throw the ball. Here comes Bobby Humphrey inside the 35, inside the 25 to about the 24-yard line. Course with the tackle. Mike Shula has done an excellent job here at Alabama. Eight straight running plays. Nine straight running plays. There comes Bobby Humphrey. He goes to about the 17-yard line, and down he goes. But Humphrey gets the first down. First down outside the 10. Doug Allen stopped at the 10-yard line. Cedric Course was right there this time. They weren't able to move him out. Maybe a penalty marker down on the far side of the end zone. Yes, there is. There is a penalty marker in the end zone. Play Whitehurst 82 was over there. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. Humphrey. Big hole. Touchdown, Alabama. Al Bell has got a bad elbow. I'm, I don't think they want to get him over the middle too much this afternoon. So if they can just run the ball like that, mix in a play pass, they'll come out of here with a victory and uh, get healthy. Here's the Van Tiffen kick, and it's going to come down to Michael Robinson at the 10. Big hole. Robinson to the 40-yard line. Outstanding field position. Third and eight from the 42-yard line. Don Smith hadn't carried the ball yet. On the third down, sets in the pocket and throws. Has his man. Short hops it, though, to Frank Hadley. Would have been complete had he got it there. It would have been a first down at the 43. Got him a good long punt there of 46 yards. And Alabama now has another running play and another successful one. All the way out for 11 yards to about the 23-yard line goes Doug Allen, tackled by Cedric Course. Second down, about four, long four. Misdirection Humphrey, big hole. Humphrey to the 37-yard line before Bruce Plummer, number four, gets him. And <laughs> That's, you don't want that situation one-on-one -on -one with that rascal. Running it again down to the 30-yard line goes Bobby Humphrey. This time on the first down, he gets about six or seven yards that time, just short of the first down. Doug Allen to the 27-yard line. And that's close enough for the first down for Alabama as they continue this drive. Across the tight end, shifting over. Here comes Jokes. There's that hole. He's tripped up at the 20, short of the first down. So it'll be third down short yardage. Doug Allen, number 46, is doing an excellent job in the lead block on the linebackers for Mississippi State. On third down and three. Here comes Humphrey. Touchdown, Alabama. Oh, my. What an awesome display of running power. Shula has yet to throw the football. Don Smith. Gets rid of it. It's going to have to throw it away, though. Coverage too good. Tried to get it to Fred Hadley. 
Alabama's driven at 74 and 88 yards on the ground for touchdowns. This time, only 48 yards away, Gene Jelks. Takes him to only about 37 yards away. 36, Michael Robinson in the defensive backfield for Mississippi State making the play. Jelks. Close to the first down. Darren Martin, 58 and 92, Anthony Butts. No mistakes for Alabama so far either. Here's Whitehurst on the reverse. Whitehurst out of bounds the five-yard line. Milton Smith knocked him out, number 34. Number 82, Whitehurst, playing in place of the injured Greg Richardson today, a junior from Nashville, Tennessee. They pitch to Jelks. Eludes a tackle. Untouched into the end zone. And it's 20 to nothing. Alabama pouring it on. The Bulldogs of Mississippi State. And Rocky Felker, I'm sure, is. He was a very intense quarterback who was all conference here at Mississippi State. As a matter of fact, when he was a junior, Ray Perkins had his first collegiate coaching job here at Mississippi State, and uh, Rocky played for Ray Perkins. It's going back to Robinson right on the goal line. To the 20. Good cut. Needs to get outside. Van Tiffen is the man who trips him up, the kicker, but not until Robinson gets it to the 47-yard line. A 54-yard kickoff return by Robinson. The Bulldogs have it second down seven at the 43, following a 54-yard kickoff return by Melvin Robinson. Hadley goes in motion. Right up the middle, running room. And a nice move close to the first down by 33, Calvin Robinson. But Mississippi State with their best field position of the day. Third down three from the 28 of Alabama. They're just going to run it on the right side. Big, big hole inside the 20 goes 33. Calvin Robinson, first down Bulldogs. That's Hadley in motion. Don Smith keeps it right up the middle, down to the 10-yard line. A yard shy of the first down goes quarterback Don Smith. Ray Perkins says he's a running back disguised as a quarterback. Third and less than a yard. Whoa. It's going to be a lot more than a yard now. Did the tide rise up or not? Rodney Peters was with the ball. 57 Rockwell led the charge. Now 30-yard field goal attempt. I wonder if they'd pull something funny here. No, they're just going to go ahead and kick it, and it is no good. And Artie, who has frankly been inconsistent this year, misses what would have to be called a chip shot. And the score remains 21 to nothing, Alabama. Second down, about four. Here's Bobby Humphrey. Now he's got over 100. A lot more than 100. And gets to the 48-yard line of Mississippi State. Wayne Banks with the stop. That was a 26-yard gallop. Here comes Gene Jelks. Not quite as much success, short of the first down to about the 43. Milton Smith, a little pure freshman. Alabama recovering after the 23-3 loss to Penn State last week. Has this game well in hand with 9.55 to go. Second quarter. Shula on the option. Jokes to the 37, 38 yard line and it's just across the first down stick and it will be another Alabama first down. Perhaps that sign should have said the Crimson Tide has washed ashore here in Starkville. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Mike Shula just takes it down to the turf instead of taking the lick that was about to be applied by 18 Brian Hudson. Looked like a broken play. Penalty marker is down in the defensive secondary of Mississippi State. It's against Alabama, however. They started out with a fumble, came back with a field goal. Then they had another fumble and a major penalty. Then they had a, a missed assignment, a, a miss on a fake reverse that cost them. Here's Shula. Has a man there. It's complete. Short of the first down. Shy of the first down by a couple of yards. It was Whitehurst with a reception. Fourth down and one. I'd be going for it, too, with the success I'd had so far. Bobby Humphrey. He is stopped shy of the first down. He does not make it. He said, hey, boys, here's how we want it done. Since that time, they've run with abandon. Third and one, Don Smith, first down and more to the 50. 
Mississippi State getting some action now. Freddie Robinson with the tackle and Don Smith with his fifth carry of the day and now he's starting to rack up some rushing yardage. And it's a draw play. Moore got the great speed. To the 40 and down he goes. He got the first down though. He got just across the 40. Here's Peters. Getting the first down, just barely. Don Smith, boy, does he get out in the corner fast. If he needs a block here, Don Smith diving forward for the first down. On the third and ten, Smith has time. Just mishandled the ball. He had Fred Hadley down there, possibility to receive that, too. Good call. This will be a 35-yard field goal attempt by Cosby. Is it going to stay? Yes, it's good. Penalty marker is down. However, it was fourth and ten, and a marker is down at the line of scrimmage. So let's see what the call is here. It could change things, but probably won't. Offsides Alabama. You're not leaving yet, buddy. <laughs> it is Bobby Humphrey. Penalty markers are down. He stepped out of bounds. Now they say he did not step out of bounds. He goes down at the 37, but there is a penalty marker back at the 28, so you're going to bring this one back. Well, he be won't be there, of course, because he'll be in the NFL. The dad's going to draft him. I thought we were looking ahead to next year. But <laughs> <laughs> you can't win it in that league. All right, here's Humphrey. He gets the first down to the 21-yard line, so it was a well-placed timeout. True true, and, uh, and a little bit surprising in, in, uh, in some specific cases. Bobby Humphrey to the 34-yard line and down for the Crimson Tide, leading 21-3. Shula under some pressure and down he goes at the 32. Give credit to that sack to the defensive backs of Mississippi State. Wait, wait, wait. A few folks that uh, are happy about this Alabama game is uh, the connection goes back a lot farther than Don and Mike Shula. You got Bob Baumhauer, Alabama nose tackle, been an all pro for Miami, Tony Nathan. Don McNeil, Dwight Stevenson. And the time runs out before the punt takes place. The players leave the field. Alabama leads 21-3. Coach of the year in 85. Don Smith with some time to throw. Incomplete. Had a chance for the first down, but Fred Hadley couldn't hold on. Clay Whitehurst to the right side. It is a wing left formation. Here's Doug Allen running on the sweep to the left side. He gets close to the first down, about nine yards on the carry out across the 50 inside Bulldog territory. Bobby Humphrey, who did a fine job of blocking the outside linebacker for Mississippi State. They're going to run it to the right side this time. Inside the 45 to the 43 goes Doug Allen. He gets the first down, and Alabama's averaging seven yards every time they run the ball. Alabama's failed to get the first down primarily because of the incomplete passes. And she was going to throw it again. All day to throw. And he overthrows Whitehurst. And Chris Moore to punt for the first time today for Alabama. He was about to punt as the half ended at the first part. First punt of the day for the Crimson Tide. It's a beauty. Robinson's going to let it bounce. And it's not going to go into the end zone. And Alabama getting everything to go their way today. At the eight-yard line, they will touch that ball down. Third and four from the 14-yard line. Don Smith sprinting up. Needs four. Throwing complete to Hadley. First down at the 27-yard line. Fred Hadley with the reception, his first of the day. That's what Mississippi State's working on developing. Third down one. First down, Bulldogs. Rodney Peters diving over the right side of the line. Speaking of Don Smith, he's moved now into fifth place today. Started in eighth place today in the SEC career total offense listings. Third and ten from the 40. Don Smith in a whole lot of trouble. Breaks loose, throwing on the run. It's complete to John Moore, knocked loose incomplete. Hit hard by 34, Ricky Thomas. It's been a shutout for the second quarter for the Crimson Tide and halfway through this quarter. Here comes Bobby Humphrey again, first down. Fumble! I believe it remains.
remained in the possession, and it did of Alabama. The defensive back, you just got to get him to the dirt any way you can. And down short. Pitch to Humphrey. He gets it due to second effort. They had him plugged up pretty well over there, and he got across the 40 to about the 42-yard line. <laughs> First down, Alabama. 22 jokes and 46 Allen in the backfield now for Alabama on a first and 10 from the 42. And it is Doug Allen. Look at the hole. First down inside Mississippi State Territory to the 43-yard line. It was Plummer Michael Robinson. It's in reverse, Al Bell. It's a flea flicker. Got it. Shula, and they got it. No, it's coverage is there now. It's intercepted by seven Kirby Jackson. It was there, but the ball slow getting there and Jackson over to dodge the bullet it was intended for 86 Stafford Mississippi has the ability to score in a hurry Don Smith State. has a man wide open it's Lewis Clark out to the 25 yard line big first down for the Bulldogs Chris Goode with a tackle Don Smith tipped falls to the ground harmlessly Stopped cold by Penn State last week. So you know those young men got together and said, we've got to prove ourselves to ourselves again. On the second down, five, Humphrey. First down, Moore. Finally out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Smith and Hudson with the tackle. Just a little over two minutes to go in the third quarter. Here's Doug Allen. Doug Allen to just outside the 25. A couple of yards short of the first down. Hudson with the tackle again. Big upset winners last week, trailing this week, though. Maybe a little flat. First down carry by Bobby Humphrey. Willie Monroe with the stop. Depending on his remaining carries, he could really load up on it. Here comes Humphrey again. Down to the 10-yard line, Bobby Humphrey. First down goal, just inside the 10. Humphrey again. He's got it. Touchdown, Bobby Humphrey and Alabama. Third and a long six here from the 16-yard line. Peters in motion out of the backfield. Smith with time. It's complete for the first down to Hadley. And he goes out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Back to our studios in Atlanta. Finally, first down 10. John Smith under pressure. Going down at the 25-yard line. Derek Thomas, his second sack of the day. First down 10 for 31. Crimson Tide. Here comes, guess who? Bobby Humphrey. First down run. Tripped up by Asa Bennett. Shula's only attempted five passes today. Only completed one. Here's Humphrey. And here's why he's only completing them. Humphrey's gone. Does he have enough energy left to get in the end zone? No. Goes to the three-yard line. He was caught from behind by Bruce Plummer. But after a 49-yard gain. Humphrey's tired. That's why they caught him at the three-yard line. It's first and goal, Alabama. Here comes Kerry Good. Touchdown easily, Alabama. Third down five from the 23. Smith under pressure. It is complete to number 84, John Lowe, back from an injury. Smith steps into the pocket, he's going to run it. Chance for the first down, gets it. Out to the 46-yard line, Don Smith, tackled by Sean Lee, number 12. <laughs> Whatever you call that thing. Here's first down, Smith throwing, tipped, intercepted. Yes, by Alabama at the 33-29, John Magnum with the, with the catch. running room for the first down across the 45 and 46. Second down six. Here comes Wright. And he gets to the 37. Asa Bennett with the tackle. And that's a first down carry. And Tim, I think that just goes to show what I was about to say. And that is that Humphrey, number 26, will get credit and deservedly so for a great day. And Alabama will go on to play. LSU, that's at Birmingham, followed by Temple at Tuscaloosa, and then Auburn at Birmingham. A 
Another first down for Alabama. This time for the 22. It's Kerry Good carrying again. We'll, we'll come back to just a second. Okay, we've got him lined up now, close to the tight end. Jokes to the eight. You got to hurry before Alabama scores. Okay, so Perk <laughs> would sneak in, see, because he wasn't fast enough to get there unless he snuck in. We appreciate all the time we get to spend with him. Every now and then, I know Tim can get a little smile on his face. That's David Castile carrying. Butch Worley in now. He's the backup place kicker. And he's in for a 22-yard field goal. So even Butch Worley gets an opportunity to participate in this game. And it is true. So Butch Worley, who's a senior at Alabama, but their hopes for a SEC championship certainly stay alive. They'll go to 4-0. and Mississippi State drops to 2-2. Two and two. Here is Mike Davis. Completes another pass for a first down to Lewis Berry. You may be seeing the, the look that'll be a little bit more the fashion at Mississippi State next year. A drop back quarterback. Scores around the league. Miami now with a five-point lead over Florida State. That's in the fourth quarter. Danny McManus is out of that ball game. last I heard, by the way. All the wives I've met of SIDs, you know, Barbara Atchison, you know, uh, Sue Housel, well, they're all good looking, so that's one benefit of having that job. Penalty marker. Could be pass interference with 17 seconds left. John Moore, the intended receiver. Once you get a kid to visit here in terms of being an athlete, if they can get them to visit, they like Starkville, particularly a lot of city kids because it's a beautiful area. Davis showing some elusiveness, throwing on the run. It's picked off by Alabama at the nine. It is 31, Steve Wilson, a sophomore from Brundage. And David Smith takes a knee, and that will conclude this ball game with Alabama laying it on Mississippi State, 38 to three. Mississippi State lost last week, 35 to six to Auburn, and now they got to play LSU at Jackson. It's a murderous November and schedule for the Bulldogs. This is Super Football Saturday on TNT.